Hi there, my name is Daniel from Dasop Gamers, and as usual, we review products on this channel and uh, welcome back again to yet another video. We've looked at so many smartwatches, mostly from Ahinoteco and all the other companies. And yet again, I come back with a different watch, but still another one from uh, Ahinoteco. And this time I'm looking at um, the <coughs> Ahinoteco German RW56 smartwatch. We're going to look at uh, what comes in this watch, how to connect it, and everything that we need to know about this watch. So without wasting any time, let's go right into it. So this is uh, a gentleman watch. Uh, I remember we looked at uh, the RW43, we looked at uh, the RW23, uh, 22, 11, 33. There's so many watches that we've looked at from um, from Heinoteco German. And this is also another one in that line of series. And also it says it's an HD IPS omelette display. Now this would be the male version of the other one we looked at some time back, which was a uh, the RW43, which was a lady watch. And uh, like the other one, this also has three straps. And uh, here at the back, they say, there's the silicone, there's the leather, and then the stainless steel. It's non-medical, and uh, they go through the other um, uh, precautions, uh, like uh, please do not use output below two amps. So that means that uh, you need to pump it with enough power to charge the battery so that you don't mess it up. Please do not adjust the sound. Please adjust the sound to proper volume. Do not disassemble it, modify it, heat it, or expose it to high temperature and humid environment. And all the other things, they put a disclaimer of it not being a medical device. So I'll go ahead and open this box so we can look at it inside. This is the watch itself. The version we have, this is a silver one that we have. And uh, like uh, I mentioned before, Hainoteco has upgraded their boxes. This one, uh, how does it open? I think it's also a flip from the side. Yeah, so it opens from the side and from inside. This is what we get. We get the watch itself. We get uh, the stainless steel, which is uh, silver, the leather, and then the silicone. I'll go ahead and open for us to see what's inside. So this is the rubber, and this time, this is the size that uh, is standard for male, because uh, the other time we looked at uh, the ones that were smaller for women. So we have that. We have the leather, which uh, seems to be a good quality also. We have the steel. This is how the steel looks like. This is uh, the thickness that it has, and it is two pieces. Finally, the watch itself. Now, this is a beautiful piece. It is a uh, metal on the front and uh, good plastic at the back with a stainless seal covering the sensors and the charger area. All the buttons on either side are active. We shall see if they are all functional. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So under, we get obviously the charger, which is uh, wireless and it's type A on the other end. We get um, the user manual. This is uh, super summarized. Uh, basically, it's uh, downloading the application and how to connect. Uh, they give you a list of instructions of how to do the download. Uh, use mobile to scan the app. Step two, go to the app search for the name here yeah, we shall look at that and then finally like uh, they've always done they include the warranty card <clears throat> which you fill in and then you have value for your money so this is basically everything you get when you purchase the Hainoteco uh, RW56 smartwatch so I put the straps away so we know that uh, there's the silicone there's uh, the leather and then the metal so that's what you get and then the charger the other thing that uh, we're going to look at is the watch itself. So I'm not going to go through the too many details because we've looked at so many of these watches and this being uh, almost the same as uh, the RW43. We shall not look so much into the settings and the connections, but we shall test them. I'll put this off to reveal our watch. So this is how it looks like, like after um, uh, when you open it. Okay, so. On the sides, if you look close, they included the words. So this is the on and off. This is the mode. This is uh, ESWN, whatever that means, and then the spot. So I will use this button to turn our watch on. And uh, you're greeted with a Hainoteco, which lasts for a few seconds. And then you go to the screen that asks you for the language. 
English and then hit next for uh, the application. If uh, you're using the watch for the first time, you would need to scan and uh, download the application. So you can either scan the QR code on the user manual or you can go ahead from the watch itself and scan from inside there. So look at uh, how beautiful the first uh, screen looks like. Now this is how the first one looks like and uh, it automatically gives you that premium look with their logo in the background. If you can see it like uh, on the top top there, they have the Hinotecom uh, logo, but uh, it, is, it is really looking good at first glance. I don't know whether you're getting, you're seeing it exactly the way I am seeing it here on my camera, but this is how the screen looks. And uh, when we go through, just like the ones before, you would go through the music. It has a wider screen <clears throat> compared to the one, actually its screen is standard. It's a little wider than uh, my analog watch screen. Yeah, so it has uh, the heart rate uh, measurement. You go through these uh, normal applications, uh, like all of them do have custom applications that um, you can add to your home screen. So when you hold automatically, <clears throat> you can go through uh, the faces and they all look beautiful, I would say, compared to the ones that I've seen before. Look at the animations of this one. This is really good, actually. I think I would um, stay with this. I would want to go to the settings, then uh, reduce uh, the time that uh, it goes off. But uh, because we are not yet there, I'm not going to rush so fast. So remember with the previous ones, when you scroll the wheel, you're able to go through, through the faces. So I would do that. So we go through the different faces. That was the first one we looked at. That is a different one. That's also another one. There is this one, this we've ever looked at. Uh, and also it has uh, the battery levels at the bottom. I would scroll again. This we looked at, the one that's unmated and then that we looked at and then go back to this one. But remember, we can also be able to install new faces from our application. Uh, this button goes on and off. This button or this initiates uh, the applications. So the click on the wheel button does not exist. So they've put the application access here, the main menu. Yeah, when you double tap the this button up there, that the one that has the mod, it would uh, change the display of, um, so it's a double tap, then uh, it changes the display of the menu. Double tap, then it changes, and they give you a number of uh, different layouts, depending on which one is easier for you. The sport mode goes through the different exercise applications, uh, which include the outdoor running, the treadmill, the walking, cycling. These applications you go through in case you want Want to do the exercises and then like uh, the exercise apps you would all find them under the spot button so i'll go back and then confirm the end of this uh let's see what the other button does now this looks at uh it's uh it's a compass oh that's east south west and north so this it's saying that uh you swing the watch around to recalibrate the compass and then immediately the compass is initiated. I really hope you can be able to see that. And now it's showing me that my north is right there. This is this is really good. I've not seen this in any of Hinoteco watches that uh, we've looked at. The fact that it has a compass, I think, is a very great um, addition. We've uh, looked at the menu, which I will not go through. It has a Facebook application. This, I think, uh, gives you the Facebook messages. Um, there's so many different applications. The biometrics turn on when uh, you're using uh, anything that requires them. So I'll go ahead and see how we do the connection to the watch so you don't be confused in case you get it. Uh, so obviously, we would scan the QR code on the back of uh, our user manual. So I'll scan the code, which will take me to Google Play so you can download the application. Uh, because I already have the application uh, downloaded, I'll go ahead and open it. Yeah, of course, it's asking you to go turn on. So I'll go to the notifications and turn on the notifications and then the permissions, I will. Uh, go ahead and enable the call log. I will enable the camera. I'll enable contacts. I will enable the location and uh, the microphone and the music so I can control my music in the watch. Uh, enable nearby devices, enable the phone and enable my 
photo and videos so I can be able to view my pictures from the phone. So I'll go ahead into the application and then continue. So this time, now I want to do uh, the connection. Now to do the connection, all I would have to do is come under equipment and then click the big plus button. It will automatically scan for nearby devices. Let's hope it gets our watch. So it's scanning to see if uh, there's a watch around and automatically it has found the RW56 smartwatch, we shall tap it so it can connect with a, with a phone. So it is connected and uh, the next bit, I'll just have to click the pair so that uh, it pairs also with the Bluetooth calls and then confirm everything. Now the two are linked together, the phone and the watch. So the other applications, the other things would be me activating the calls, which are activated now. This activates uh, the calls between the watch and the, and the phone. I'll go ahead for the notifications and then look for it and then enable it right here, allow. I'll go back and uh, look at anything else that I will need, the alarms. Uh, I don't need to set an alarm. So um, what else do we need to enable? Sendatory reminder. Uh, when turned on, it allows you to set sedentary. Eh, I've, I really have not understood. And already I'm receiving notifications through because I've enabled the notifications. So, and this is really good. Like uh, if I don't need the notification, I can just click delete it. And then it goes like direct on your watch. This I think uh, is that thing where you've uh, overbent. No, I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure what uh, that option does. So I'll not enable it. Uh, they don't disturb uh, the raise, uh, the raise to wrist, raise your wrist to brighten the screen. I do not, I'm not sure what that does. And then for the ladies, you can enable the menstrual period. And then you, you're given a list of uh, the things that you will do so you can get the reminders. Uh, these are for ladies. I think this option uh, also existed in the other one for the ladies. I just skipped it. But uh, this is, I think, a great feature if you can have the reminders on your phone. That way you do not mess up with um, your days. So the Find My Bracelet should, uh, yeah, it initiates a chime on uh, the watch. That way you can find it in case you've misplaced it. And um, of course, top that. You can look at the languages and uh, still you can also sync the phone numbers, the contacts that you want. So I can select a number of them and then just say, add those to me. And then uh, they are immediately uploaded. I love how fast these watches are and I, I'm receiving different messages to the watch. So um, these are sent, like you, you can select your whole contact and then just send it to the watch that way. You do not have to, uh, in case, uh, let's say, you've got an emergency and you've lost the, the phone, the contacts are already on the phone. Now for some of the older watches, the contacts, you would only have to access the contacts only if the phone, I mean the watch is connected to the phone. Now with these newer models, you can actually sync all the contacts you want into the watch. That way you have access to your contact list without even the phone being connected to the watch. The other things that we could look at, uh, we've looked at uh, there's the firmware update where you search for the new firmware. Go, okay, it's on the latest firmware. And uh, the language, you have the automatic heart rate detection that you can turn on in case you need it. There's so many features and uh, this also has the picture of the watch appear on your screen. That way you know what's connected. You can uh, look at uh, the different watches there are a number of them and uh, for some reason these are different from the ones that we looked at man there's so many and all of them are so free there is nothing i'm seeing here that you're supposed to pay for like i've seen with so many different applications like uh, these these are a hundred plus uh, faces that you could just send to your watch let me find uh, one that i can send let me select this one send it to the watch so it is uploading and it's 703 KBs. Uh, I think it has more RAM. It, uh, it's unfortunate uh, that uh, the company has not uh, included any of uh, the details of uh, 
the components used inside, but uh, this looks to have a little more RAM than the ones that I've looked at before, because uh, they copy faster. I've uh, I've looked at a watch that uh, copied a 92 KB file for over 10 minutes, but this copies a uh, 703.2 KBs in uh, only a few seconds, and this is how the face looks like. This is the face that I just installed right here and uh, it is installed on our watch. And uh, you can also add custom faces with this button right up here where it says custom watch faces. And uh, from here, you can go to, uh, you can actually select uh, any images that you would want on uh, your watch or even go to custom and then select from uh, your library. All we could choose, let me just take a picture of me right now. Okay, so I've just taken a picture of me right now, so I can say okay. And uh, I didn't smile well, but uh, okay. So that is the picture. And then I can select um, the components that I would need on my watch. You've seen this has been added, the, four, the steps, the heart rate, and uh, the distance. I'll use those four, or even I can add the calories. I can select their different colors. And uh, let's see, I can look at uh, the faces I can use, uh, an analog one, and also add uh, the numbers around. So when I click here, you see the numbers on the side change. So I can select the kind of numbers that I want. Okay, let me go with that one. And uh, when it comes to the hands, let me go with this one. Uh, let, me, let me first send this and we see how it looks. So it's sending, and this in total, including my picture, is only 425 uh, KBs. Uh, let's see, let's see, it's sending. I love how fast it is sending. Mm, and in one, two, three, four, five, six, tap, done. So you get, and this actually really looks good. It looks good. So this, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's the picture that I've uploaded and you can choose not to put it there. Now, let me, let me remove um, uh, the analog uh, hands and then just use the digital one. So I think the digital one looks better and you can have it in different colors. Uh, let's see the green, uh, the purple, like they give you a number of colors, but I think I match well with the white and uh, the components. I don't need them because I want to keep it clean. And then I'll send this to the watch. For some reason, the digital one is heavier than uh, the analog one. But uh, all we want to do is uh, see how it uh, looks. And uh, so with this, you can take uh, maybe a family picture and then just have it on your watch so you can have your family at hand everywhere you go or you can put your beautiful woman on this uh, watch and then look at her every time you miss her so this has um, uploaded and this is how it looks i don't know if you can see it but that's how it looks let me bring it closer this is uh, how i look on that phone with the picture that i just took so back to back to the application we've looked at uh, the faces uh, all these applications. These are, <clears throat> these are options. This is for running. This is the front page that uh, gives you all the readings that uh, the phone had from uh, the watch. Uh, mine looks at uh, your daily goals. This is where you set uh, how much you would want to sleep, uh, the target uh, steps that are uh, the, the target steps that uh, you would want maybe per day, exercise time, the calories that you would want to burn. Um, then it gives you the the calculations. Which ones do you want? Do you want us in meters? This is where you change your soul to 24 hours. And then the permissions, in case you missed any, you can uh, you can uh, put the location uh, notifications. The, like there's a lot of stuff that you would go have to go through here. 
and uh, by default it's all activated, then they go through the common problems that you might face. Now this is a good thing that I think Hinoteco has done, that uh, in case you're facing trouble, you can easily go through and look at uh, the uh, frequently asked questions uh, with the solution. So you just go look at a problem that you're facing, click in it, and then it will give you the possible solution to that problem. I think that's a great thing. Uh, how to sync data, like uh, many people have struggled with the connections of these uh, devices to their watches. And uh, with the help that uh, the company has decided to offer, I don't know whether it's um, a Hinoteco thing, uh, all the KTO thing because I remember when you were using the Wear Fit Pro, it was just a mess. Like you had to figure out everything yourself. You'd have to do two connections of the Bluetooth, connect through the app and also go to the Bluetooth and turn on the uh, watch something, watch, call watch for you to be able to receive the calls through the watch. So looking at, um, now we've seen everything to do with the app. So let's look at uh, the watch itself in details. So it has two microphones up and down. Uh, this is the part where the Bluetooth, I mean uh, the magnetic wireless receiver sits. So you see that um, it uh, just attaches magnetically. And uh, if you try to put that aside, it will just repel it. That means that this side also has a few magnets that uh, attract each other and repel in case you've uh, put it in the wrong direction. So two microphones for you to be able to speak to the other person through the watch. Uh, it has a speaker somewhere that I cannot be sure because it was well designed. Oh, it's right here on the other end of the watch. So you have um, the speaker right here so you can play back the music. Uh, can I control my music? Let's see. How do I get to it? Oh, I scroll to the right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can control the music. Let me let me ro lower the volume. Okay, this, this is on the watch. Uh, so I can play either. Uh, this is on my phone and uh, there's music on my phone right there. So I can, I can choose to play and it plays the music on my phone or I can switch it to the watch. Then it plays from the watch. Let me increase the volume. And it sounds decent. I do not want to deal with uh, copyright copyright issues but yes you can switch the music uh, between the phone and it makes it so easy because before you had to find a way of syncing these things and um, the people having the premium watches were having it all i'm so happy that uh, most of those things have been enabled to this uh, the music yes you can next you can um, you can uh, play between the phone and the watch um, the camera uh, let's let's test and see if i can remotely control my camera Let's see, let me turn, turn it to the side so you can see that I'm controlling it from the phone. So this is the camera facing you. Let me look for the camera up here. Okay, it's right here. It's right here, so I'm going to use this. Oh, okay, this is a beautiful thing. Now here is the thing that I've noticed. When you launch the camera up, it automatically launches the camera here immediately. So this the camera is uh, activated, so I can just turn this to me and then let me turn it uh, yeah to the hind camera so you can see from there and then when I click ta -ta, tip, so it says photo successfully saved so let me go to my gallery and be sure that uh, it took the picture and yes it took the pictures the two pictures that I took right here yeah, so the camera, like this watch gets you a lot more than the previous watches did. There's so many features that uh, you can play around with uh, with this watch. I love the fact that uh, they included the compass in this thing. Now that was it for me. That, that blew me away because uh, uh, if you're an adventurous person, just like uh, the Apple watches, the Samsung, they've had this feature, but we, uh, the ones with uh, the cheaper watches have not had this feature and the fact that it is in this watch, We've looked at uh, the connection, we've looked at uh, the watch itself. Uh, maybe the connection of the straps. I'll use uh, the rubber ones. I love I love the rubber ones always. Just like uh, all of them, uh, they have this part, that part with uh, the little lock. So I'll flip it to the back, slide in the first one. I have no nails and then pop in. The other side, one second, I got it. No, not yet, okay, I got it. Now it is in, it is really firm. The watch, the watch seems heavy and yet it's a bit light. Like 
it is it is just standard like uh, somebody when somebody looks at it might know it, they might not tell that it's a smartwatch and yet it is so let me put the strap so same procedure we get in one side we use the little lock and press and lock it in oh this side had not locked in move it until you feel it has hit into the lock okay this side had given me trouble but move it until you feel it hit into the lock oh it is like down there so i would lock in the first side and then slide the other one i would lock in the first side okay now it's in and then move this in and it's locked in so you have your watch super firm you don't expect it to jump out at any time and uh, it looks premium let's see how it looks on my arm because i think i'm going to have to keep this one so i'll put it on yeah and this is typically how it looks so the other features that uh, maybe we did not look at were maybe the top menu let's uh, look at those quick so uh, the top menu when i pull down it gives you the different uh options which include the battery and uh, here it will give you the battery percentage how much power is left and also you can turn on the uh, saver and uh, somebody is calling me i don't know if i can pick this up so somebody is calling me here but i can quickly pick up from uh, the watch no i'll not pick up because uh, we're recording a video so we're looking at uh, the menu so uh, you can uh, access the battery and uh, switch from uh, power saving or removing it then let's oh this should be the go back button the back button we shall test it again okay let's see so we pull down again the next one is uh, the display which okay that's a missed call which is okay i didn't pick up so we can increase the brightness of the screen or lower the brightness I'll keep it to that so that you're able to see it well we have the dynamic island which i do not know what it does the race to work which uh, you move uh, you look at the watch and then it turns on um, so the other thing let's see uh, the screen time the on screen time yeah we can increase that to i'll use the scroll wheel to 20 uh, seconds at least so that um, the watch doesn't keep uh, going off so this one is again the back button so in case you want to go back it's the button that you press and uh, it's also the menu button and uh, you get a little notification up there in case you have any messages so it says no messages but i love this face like uh, when somebody looks at the watch when you're having this face they cannot tell that I, it's a smart watch so i i love i this watch is uh, a thing that i've loved when it comes to the haino teco uh, brands so we're still looking at the top menu okay let me first switch this face to my face okay so let's look at uh, the options on the top menu. So we have the uh, menu style, which is the same as tapping the side. So this has the cellular, the kaleidoscope, it has the scrolling, the roller, the list. So we go back. It has, uh, we, here we look at um, uh, the fine, my phone. So this searches around and then finds your phone and then it rings which i've not done the bluetooth which is automatically turned on because uh it's uh, connected and then this is the don't disturb yeah this is the don't disturb uh button and then we have uh the QR code scanner for the app in case uh, you've lost uh, the manual and then you want to connect it to a new phone we have the music where you can play the music or pause it uh we have uh, the settings now this that's the quick uh, access to the settings and the settings have the different uh, things that you could do. Uh, the edit keys, now this gives you the ability to assign new buttons to these. Okay, you can lock uh, the watch face in case uh, you don't want somebody to, by mistake, accidentally uh, change the face that uh, you're using. Like I've switched my face several times by mistake just when I was doing this video. So the lock face is a great feature to consider there. We have uh, the password where you are able to add a pin to your watch. Uh, what else? The don't disturb, the menu styles, the vibration, and then the sounds. Let's go to the vibrations. So here you can turn on the vibration or the music. Okay, you can control the volume of the phone and also of the watch right here. 
you can uh, use the music from uh, the the ringtone that you have on your phone here on the watch in case uh, you need it there. The general settings, look at uh, the about. Let's look at it. Now this is the RW56 and then they give you the version and the MAC address of the watch. You can be able to change the watch, the, the language, uh, restore from here the about, shut down and then also report. The vibrations, uh, they give you options between the strong, the medium, and then the weak. And then here you can turn on and off the vibration. Uh, when it comes to the sounds, we've uh, already seen those and many and many more, more features in this thing. So when I scroll down, okay, for this one, the, oh, it's there. Or when I scroll down, it will give me all recent messages that I've been receiving, uh, the different, and I think, yeah, I can use the, the wheel to scroll through the messages and I can easily just tap the message so I can read it. He gave me 50K. So, and uh, the screen, because it's an OLED screen, you can clearly see everything and the words are super clear. So um, I love this watch and I think this is a watch that I would uh, buy for myself with the so many uh, options that it has. Uh, it is really, really a great watch to have. So we've seen that uh, from the top, you access the quick menu, and from down, you access your recent messages or recent uh, notifications that you've had going on with the watch. Now we've looked at uh, how this watch looks like and how it would look on my arms, but remember that you're also given the different straps, that's uh, the leather, you have uh, the the stainless steel and then also the silicone that I just connected to this watch. So this is a watch that uh, you would switch a number of times just changing the straps depending on what you're putting on and uh, the straps, there's so many kinds of straps on the market. So you can have the same watch but switch it over and over and over and people think that you have maybe 10 watches. So this watch is a very elegant gift that you could buy your boyfriend or your husband and I think they would love it because it does exactly what you would expect from um, a genuine expensive smartwatch uh, in comparison to the common ones that we've seen uh, being duplicated that are so much on the market. This is different and gives you a unique look, uh, not the square uh, the square that has become so common and so much duplicated. This gives you a, um, a standard because it would look elegant and somebody would not even notice you're putting on a smartwatch. And also with the, uh, with the beautiful faces that it has, you would, um, you would feel a gentleman having this thing on than uh, just having uh, a normal uh, uh, smartwatch. So look at this face. So if I put this on, how would you tell that I'm wearing a smartwatch and it would be taking care of the other things, the reminders of um, how many steps that I've taken, uh, how my oxygen is doing, how many kilometers that I've covered, work on my exercises and yet still look elegant. So this is a product that you would buy for your boyfriend or husband or even buy for yourself because as a woman, you could actually put this on if uh, you're into money watches. So in case there is any question that you have about this product that you've looked at, please put it in the comment section. In case you have um, anything that you would love to add on the product that we've just looked at, maybe something that I've missed out. Maybe you have, um, Hynoteco has not um, included uh, any water resistance features, but in case you have all that information, you could help another person by adding that information in the comment section below. And if you found this video any useful, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let it go to somebody out there. Give us the ability to be able to bring you new products and look at them together and let's engage let's uh, have a conversation together because this is family thank you my name is daniel again from the Gamers. see you in the next one bye